Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 496. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is... Behind the scenes of My Little Pony Stop Motion Shorts. Remember those stop motion pony shorts we caught some years ago when pony life was around and kicking? Well, I had figured that they were cute little animations made by a computer to look 3D, but according to a uh, mm, how to say this word? Uh, oh, it's a very uh, batch post made back in November of 2021, uh, it was actually stop motion. Let me impress. There are a bunch of behind the scenes pic on the post about the production and it looks simply amazing. Great work by the team bringing these ponies to life and uh, admittedly very painstaking the animation process. And yeah, oh wow. I do remember this way back in the days where they did this, um, what do you call this, uh, ads or whatever it is. And I do think it's also on Hasbro's YouTube page. Hmm, don't remember. But if I don't miss again, it is there. And we get to see uh, how things are done by the molding and the painstaking process of moving and taking pictures and animating it. Let's see, My Little Pony Stop Motion Shorts, uh, created, I think it's this, yeah, this is the official website. And, oi, uh, here are samples of the video, and how they do it. Wow, this, this process is awesome. Uh, nothing that we haven't seen on EQD, but we do have info here, like, uh, who's the client, uh, director, executive producers, blah, 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 and so on. So, wow, this this is cool. And the company that did it, who made the animation, is also kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, honestly, I can't say much. This, this is just amazing. Alrighty uh, then. So, um, with that out of the way, let's head on to the next one, discussions. Hasbro has teamed up with LEGO for an Optimus Prime set. Would, would you want a pony set? So, um, honestly, this is one of those cases where this topic shouldn't really be here, but um, I <laughs> I have a friend and uh, he likes the Legos and we've seen the Optimus Prime set and it's not in stores yet, but we did see pictures and so on and it's, the box is the big it is big it is huge and yeah it is very impressive and here's one of the few reasons why uh, this discussion popped up because back in the day uh, there was a combined Lego uh, sorry, there was a uh, fan made Lego set called uh, Lego Kuso uh, this was kind of a vote for your own thing kind of thing, a uh, kind of program where um, I created a Lego set and you and people vote would they like to buy this set or not. Uh, and at the time, a lot of creators did a lot of stuff and one of them were ponies and it was really cool. Uh, but the entry got DQ'd because, well, uh, at the time, uh, Lego didn't have the rights and they were not working with Hasbro. So uh, the fun idea got rejected and we didn't get it. Uh, but at, uh, at the same time, uh, Lego, at the same time, Hasbro had their own uh, building block thing. If I'm not mistaken, it was Creo. And Creo had Transformers and other things going on with it, like uh, whatever they had before. If I'm not mistaken, Creo is dead. I, if I'm mistaken, I'm mistaken. So now, um, with the... Uh, sorry, and now in 2022, 
um, Lego and Hasbro has teamed up to make Optimus Prime and it is really cool, it is really awesome so uh, would, would we as fans of ponies get a pony set up some of the answer would be obvious yes but would they make it in the first place because uh, it's pony and whatnot so let's see uh, in my honest opinion it's really up in the air because what the what corporate wants is to promote G5 so even if they do create a Lego crossover uh, it would be with G5 characters instead uh, the, the likely chance of it happening so the chances of sale with that is kind of low because some people or the fandoms are not really into G5 yet they're, they're still huge marks for uh, G4 so would a G4 set be around the corner like would people want to buy it and whatnot I see yes but it depends on what we get because we could basically get a treehouse set like what we got with uh, Winnie the Pooh uh, if you take a look see at that that was pretty awesome but in all honesty, if you ask me what I would like, you know what? I would like one of two things. I would like a um, pony sculpture of Princess Celestia. Um, all huge and majestic and looks really cool. Or Princess Luna, also majestic and cool. So either of those two would work in terms of how awesome it would look, but uh, the only downside is it's not transformable, it's not movable and whatnot. It's not like how Optimus Prime is because Optimus Prime can transform into a robot and a car. Um, so the idea for the figure is really awesome there. But with ponies, I mean, if you want to play around with it and so on, you kind of have to make something that's mm, make something that can work I mean uh, if you take a look see at the recent uh, Sonic the Hedgehog um, set that kind of works I guess so it's it's a mixed bag of I do want it but how do I want it and if if I do get it would I buy it or not because the Lego Optimus Prime from what I've gathered and converted the cash would be about 700 plus ringgit uh, probably 150 something dollars uh, give or take uh, I don't remember so yeah it is going to be stupid expensive so for ponies too the Sonic set over here in Malaysia is about 300 bucks so Give or take $9.99, $100 probably. So yeah, it's going to be one of those cases where can they sell it? And will they do it? Yeah, um, we'll have to wait and see. Honestly, we'll have to wait and see because like I mentioned before, even if they do it, it's going to be pushing G5 instead of G4. So uh, let's move on to the next topic. And yay, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers get a mod. Uh, sorry, um, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers pony models get an update. So I'm just gonna read what Seth said. Uh, a few months ago, we posted about a pony reference in the upcoming Chip and Dale Rescue Ranger movie. A lot of people weren't too keen on the 3D models. They close. Uh, sorry, they chose Jed, but <clears throat> they chose for it. Apparently, there has been an update though, a new trailer has popped up for it with a very brief clip showing of the main six in their My Little Pony, the movie, style instead. I guess Hasbro threw the asset after them, sorry, after them, after the negative feedback. Oh, wow. 
Alrighty then, so um, we're going to change cameras for a bit because I do have something here. Pictures! Yo no! Give me a second. Zoom in and in the hands. So anywho, um, way back in the days, this is what we got. Uh, we got um, the, to be honestly speaking, uh, the first pass through or the first picture is akin to how the uh, My Little Pony Game Love game looks like and I'm just quite surprised that they managed to put in ponies into the movie and then when the movie came out and whatnot uh, we got the um, updated version, the movie style and I've seen Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, the live action movie and it's Hmm, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's an 8. It's very interesting in what it tries to tell. And this is not a Rescue Ranger um, um, review. This is... Uh, I still have news to do. So, anywho, um, yes, they updated the looks and whatnot. And it was it's very interesting. Um, I like what they did. Uh, the ponies were just a two-second clip? out of the whole movie and it was just them running around on a con floor that's about it yeah honestly I got no idea why they put it in so let's move on to the next news and <clears throat> Kotobukiya Princess Celestia Bishojo set uh, statue set for June release this has been delayed a while back but anywho after a delay a few months ago, Kotobukiya has officially confirmed that Celestia will finally be shipping in June of this year. It has definitely been a while since pre-order opened back in May of, tw uh, May of 2021. Wow, that took so a year to... Whew. Hopefully you can all pair with uh, your Luna soon. And... Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Wow. Can't say much. Looks really good. And let's move on. A new limited edition Rainbow Dash Kotobukiya figure announced. Rainbow Dash is getting a, the limited edition treatment over at Kotobukiya for those collecting the Equestria Girls team colorful skin. We showed your set. She joins Applejack, Rarity, Fluttershy, Twilight, and Pinkie Pie, who have all offered in this lineup. So, yay! Um, yeah, um, one of the few cool things about the special editions are their mane and hair are translucent, and the skin are according to the show uh, they follow the coat of the ponies so yay that's something like that's that's something interesting yay um, let's see estimated release in October of 2022 but let's see what they have to say and how much is the pre-order uh, month of release October scale 1 7 blah 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 uh, do we have a price here? Mm. For the detail, blah blah blah. No, no, no. I don't see anything. But just assume it's going to be about a mm, hundred dollars, probably. And with that, that is the news for this week. So yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of cool stuff this week. So let's uh, go into what have I been doing with my week. Um, so my week has been rather dull. Um, did nothing really interesting or fun. Well, except Magic the Gathering and D&D. Um, been picking that up and it's quite fun. Uh, like, I've been, been doing a lot of other things too. Now that I remember because I uh, haven't had a week and so on. So I'm trying to remember 
a few stuff like okay um watch a movie uh most obvious one is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Pretty fun movie. Yay. Saw Sonic 2. That was fun too. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, Rescue Rangers. Jim Dale recently saw that one just because it was on the list of things to watch. Also, I wanted to see the pony cameo and so on. So, yeah, um, was it worth the watch? It was interesting. I, I, I find it very how do I put this it's interesting would I say go get a Disney Plus subscription just to go watch it no not really it's not really worth it uh, even if you if, if you want to do uh, sorry uh, if you want to get a Disney Plus subscription probably go do it for Moon Knight Moon Knight is fun so anyway, um, nah, let's wrap, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dimitrogmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitcher Radio, and also uh, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVilive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you can catch me and my good friends uh, like Silver Quill, Jacob and probably Totera reviewing Pony Comics episodes, cartoon, comics episodes, movie specials and so on. Uh, we sometimes like to do other things in ponies and those can be cartoons, animes, game comics, mangas and many more. And if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review, discussion, podcast, exclusive, and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of MBS show. See ya!